Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a child theme for use with your WordPress theme. Now, a child theme is a very useful thing to have on your site. It's going to allow you to make customizations to your theme without changing the code on the original theme, allowing you to keep the original theme updated whilst keeping your changes. It's also going to keep your changes separate, so if you make any mistakes or anything goes wrong, you can easily revert to the original theme. So they're really good if you're making any advanced customizations to your site and specifically any code changes. And I'm going to show you how to create one of these. Now, just quickly to note before we start, if you're using a My Theme Shop theme, then you might be able to go to Appearance and then click on Theme Options. And on some My Theme Shop themes, if you scroll down and find the Import and Export button here, then you can see you've got an option to create a child theme just by entering a name here, for example, Child Theme 1 and just pressing create child theme. That's now going to create that. You can save those changes. And now if you just head over to appearance, then you can activate child theme one. And we can see that that creates that there. And we can activate that with just one click. For most themes though, you're going to need to create a child theme manually. This is going to require logging into the FTP of your WordPress site. You can find that from your host and typically that'll be under cPanel. So I'm logged into my FTP here, and we can see here I've got the standard WordPress installation files. You want to navigate to WP content, and then click on themes. Now to create a new child theme, you just need to do two things. First is to right click, and then press create new directory. This is going to be the name of your child theme. I'm just going to call this child theme two, and then press okay in order to create that. I then want to navigate to that directory and then create a new file. I can do that by, again by right clicking and pressing create new file. Here you want to call the file style.css. You now want to right click on that file again and edit the file. So I just need to click view slash edit here. You're then going to have a blank file loaded up and um, you want to paste in some code here. I've got this already written here, but you're going to want to pause the video in order to see what this is. You can see we've got the theme name. This is just uh, anything that you like, but I've set mine to my theme shop child theme, as well as the URL of your theme. So this is just set to mythemeshop.com. You can also have the author and you'll want to put your name in here. Now we come to the important section here. This is the template. And here you want to set this to the theme that you're using as your parent theme. So I'm using the how to theme, and you can see here I've added MTS underscore how to. I know that I need to add this line in because if I have a look on the WP content slash themes, I'll just navigate to that here. We can see that the folder name of the how to theme is MTS underscore how to. That's what I want to set as my uh, template name here. You can also set a version number, and so I just put mine to 1.0. You can see that this is set between two comment tags and you want to make sure that you have all of this information between those two lines. You can see here I've now got an import line which is going to import the style sheet for the parent theme. We can see here this is just at import and then URL and then we've got an opening and closing bracket as well as two uh, apostrophes here and a semicolon to close that off. Between those two you can see we've got this line here double dot and then forward slash. What that's going to do is just go up one directory and then we just need to select the MTS how to folder, which is the one that we just found here. Um, so that's going to get into the folder of the parent theme and then we just need to add style.css because we're looking for the style sheet. That's just going to import all the default styles onto your new child theme to make sure everything is by default set to um, how it is with the parent theme. Below that line, you can then start making your own changes. So if I wanted to uh, make any changes to the body background, for example, I would just add that in here. If I wanted to make that blue, for example, I could just add this line of code here. And any code that's underneath this line is going to make your changes. You can add as many changes as you like, and of course, you don't have to add them all at once. You will be able to find this under Appearance and then Editor uh, later on once we've got this set up. You want to save that file, you'll be able to see that, that file has been updated. Once that's done, you want to head back to your WordPress dashboard. If you refresh this, then you're going to be able to see a list of all of the themes you have installed, including, um, here we have, if we scroll down, the Mind Theme Shop Child Theme. I can now activate this 
and we're going to have the my theme shop char theme activated and from now on any changes we make on our site, we're going to want to make using the child theme, but we can still update the parent theme and get new versions and so on. Um, and that's not going to lose any of our changes. As I mentioned, you'll also be able to find the editor, go to appearance and editor here, and you can also change your theme here. If you're looking to make any advanced customizations, you're going to want to head back to FileZilla and you can create a new file called functions.php. Um, and you'll be able to edit that in order to add any additional functions. But that's really something only for the most advanced users as the code can break your site very easily. You need to make sure you know what you're doing in order to use that. So that's just a quick introduction in how to create a child theme for your WordPress site. I hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.